Scientific Investigations. What is that called, Teacher Anne? It's my first time to see an equipment like that. This is called a beam balance. A beam balance? Yes, it's a beam balance because it has a beam that turns on a fulcrum when you move the weight. What is the beam balance used for? It is used to measure the mass of an object. Can I step on the beam balance to measure my mass? Oh no, you are too heavy for a beam balance. A beam balance can only measure objects with light mass or objects with mass measured in grams. Objects with great mass or objects that are measured in kilograms, like the mass of your body, have to be weighed in a weighing scale. I know you recognize this instrument. Yes, Teacher Anne, that is a thermometer. What is a thermometer used for again, Ellie? It is used to measure the temperature of an object. We use degrees Celsius as the base unit of temperature. Yes, Ellie, I think you can be a scientist someday. Yes, Teacher Anne, I want to work in a laboratory to do experiments. Do you have an idea what exactly scientists do in a laboratory? Scientists follow a step-by-step -step procedure to solve a problem. It begins with identifying the problem. Right. And when they have identified the problem, they plan the materials and the steps to follow in order to solve the problem. What else do you think scientists do aside from what you have just said? They perform the experiment to gather data. In many cases, they use measuring tools in order to be accurate with their observations. They record these data and present them in tables and graphs. What do scientists do with the information that they have gathered? They analyze the data and they look for trends and patterns, if there are any. Wow. Ellie, you sound like a pro. Here's more, Teacher Anne. After they analyze the data, they draw conclusions. What do you know about drawing conclusions, Ellie? Well, a conclusion is the answer to the problem. By providing valid evidence and logical reasoning, scientists can make a general statement that answers the problem that they have posed at the beginning of the scientific investigation. That is impressive, Ellie. It is exciting to do a scientific investigation. Do you agree, Ellie? Of course, Teacher Anne. I can't wait to perform a new one. Do not worry, Ellie. I have prepared one this afternoon. Wow, that's great, Teacher Anne. 